Welcome to Dragon Ball Speak, a show where we summarize and review every episode of Dragon Ball Z, three episodes at a time, where we rate them each on a scale of one to seven stars. We're available on Spotify, YouTube, uh, iTunes, etc. We upload every Saturday morning. I'm one of your hosts, Brandon. And I'm Wesley. And this, which we do at the same time as me, is, is Dragon, Dragon Ball Speak. Speak. Uh, episode 144 through 146. So starting with Piccolo's folly. Piccolo's folly. What is his folly? Um, that his, he let Cell get away? His folly is that he keeps saying he's powerful because it's him and Kame combined. And Nail is inside screaming, begging <laughs> for some recognition. I'm going to tell you right now. Nail will never be mentioned again. <laughs> That's it. He's gone. It's messed up because Nail is conscious inside of him. Yes. Yes. Nail is just like... Every time Piccolo's like me and Kame, and Nail's like, no, 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 most forgettable, it's messed up. Nail was as plot device as a character can get, and that's okay. Sometimes yeah. it happens. That we needed okay. Piccolo to get a power up on Namek. Um, Piccolo's folly. Vegeta and Tien are both like separately um, on their way towards the Piccolo cell situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got um, C- Cell's little tail does a drippy. Mm. That happens. So I guess that's how he uh, like melts the people and sucks them. Mm-hmm. Is that he's got like acid tail or something? I think oh, that's the only yeah. time we actually see something like that. But anyway, yeah, it drips and then it like burns the dirt, like a big hole. Oh, I didn't even catch that. No, yeah, I did. Now I remember. Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we, you know we're in this situation where I think even Cell knows like he he seems to be very intelligent as a villain, unlike Frieza. Mm-hmm. Well, Freeze is like supposed to be intelligent, I think, but he's kind of dumb. Yeah, he's kind of dumb. He's a little silly. But Cell seems intelligent. He knows he's outmatched. Um, Piccolo's there. Um, Piccolo says that he and Kami merged, and so he, that tells Cell that there's no yet. Dragon Balls. Um, and then really, I mean, shortly after that is when Trunks and Krillin arrive. Yeah. And Cell recognizes Trunks. He's like, "Wow, Trunks is here. He must have." You know, I guess getting killed in his timeline wasn't enough. His timeline wasn't enough. So I just, I still don't get it. I don't get it either. Well, no, because no, this uh, this is a different this, this is a different Trunks than the so Trunks. So there is just killed. a timeline where Cell kills Trunks and takes his time machine, and there is a timeline where Trunks takes his time machine. Yeah, and they're two separate. Our things. Trunks Clearly, is not obviously a, our Trunks is only just now learning what Cell is. Yes, because I that, know that Cell hadn't shown his face in his timeline. But there is a timeline where Trunks and Cell came face to face and fought. And I I liter I legitimately just have a hard time with time travel in any fiction. I got you, boo. Except Back to the Future. A- Endgame is pretty straightforward. No, you're crazy. You're. It's been a while. You're looking back at it because we we spent so much time learning and figuring it out. That was the most confusing time travel movie freaking ever. Mm. Multiple timelines and plucking stuff out of this timeline, and Cap comes mm-hmm. back, and where is he going, and Back to the Future is the easiest timeline. Just go on the feet back. I haven't watched Back to the Future. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, that's. I just do. The... I do like that structure though. If you go back in time, there's like yeah. butterfly effects. Yeah. You just don't mess. With, don't it's see just yourself. One don't mess with things. That's yeah. yes. I've... This is like a mix of that and Endgame. Because Which we is... do have some butterfly effect stuff, but we also have multiple timelines, and it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It, it's bad. It's uh. Yeah. But so Harry Potter does it like Back to the Future. Yes. Yeah. Very Back to the Future. Okay. So. Once I become perfect is what he says. Oh. Once I become perfect, you guys will be no match. At this point, he knows he's pretty much outmatched. There's no such thing as perfect. We all have things we can work on. You know, if your lady doesn't love you, get her a pearl. Oh, that took me a second. <laughs> that took me a second when we <laughs> talked about it a week ago. Again. Um, so he solar flares his little booty out of there. Yeah, a little Tien move. Yeah, he, he takes Tien's move. He solar flares them. They are all blind for a while yeah um the 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 scene in question if i had epilepsy yeah, you, or if i knew someone who had epilepsy i would not watch it or i was, have I was actually it. thinking the same thing i was thing. like dude this is like have you ever watched the uh porygon pokemon mm-hmm. one on youtube or whatever yeah 
it was like on that level for sure. Did you see the Cyberpunk 2077 scenes? I didn't see them. I heard that it doesn't even have a seizure disclaimer. No, and it's like the exact like is apparently the exact light moves and colors that doctors use to help diagnose. Yeah, epilepsy. I read a tweet. Someone was like, they did it on purpose, which would. Uh, no, I don't think they did be... it on purpose. I think they just overlooked it, unfortunately. But um, even watching it for me, I was like, wow, that is intense. Really? Like, I feel yeah. I can't imagine what have been like. Surprise. I just love on the mountain of bad PR, they're also giving people yeah. seizures. And I haven't even heard anything from them in a month. Well, they got data hacked or whatever. Oh, so. that's right. Who cares anymore? Don't buy that game. You bought Well, it. I mean, I don't want them to get their data hacked. Like, they got doxxed. Like, their addresses and stuff were out there. Sold yeah. on the black market for like $7 million or something. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. That's crazy. I um, just, uh... But this is Dragon Ball. No, this is Cyberpunk Speak. Cyberpunk Speak. <laughs> All right. Um,. So we gotta go. We gotta go check in on Goku because you know, what's he doing? Well, he's he in, smiled. He's in bed. He's smiling because apparently, he's thinking about fighting according to Roshi and Yamcha. But the real, the real answer is, and anybody that knows Goku knows that he's dreaming about food, and that's why he's smiling. Um, uh, well, Oolong roasts the crap out of Gohan right here. What does he say? I don't remember. Uh, Gohan's like he's smiling. He must be feeling better. And Oolong's like. He's like, wow, Gohan, you must be a doctor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, very unnecessary. Just get shit on. And Chi-Chi's all pissed because they're like... Talking she's about like, fighting. And she's yeah, like, she's Goku's like, not ever going to gonna fight again. No, no, no. Um, and then I wrote down, I said, Goku, just get up because I'm tired of this. And then I said, it's kind of crazy how DBZ isn't as Goku-centric as you'd be led to believe by pop culture. He's absent a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, I would have thought this was a Goku-led show. And at this point, it's not. Yeah, like he is the main character, but he's like not. But he's there absent often. often. Like I'm often more. I feel like I'm with other characters more than Goku. Lately, is yeah for sure. Yeah, we spend a lot of time with Goku on Namek. Yes, um, and then um, so Cell is like he leaves after his solar flare, and we cut back to that, and he's escaped, and he's talking about how he needs to go find the androids before Piccolo and the gang can take them out because he needs the androids to get to. Um, he just needs them for like his to power up or whatever do you think piccolo could take <clears throat> them out right now yeah for sure mm, nice um and um I, I put down that i think cell will go into the form that i recognize after absorbing the androids which is contrary to my theory last week but now i believe wait what that. is it repeat that so the the dinosaur green dinosaur from episode zero mm -hmm. i see in my head i definitely recognize a cell now and i think cell will become that after absorbing the androids which is contrary to my theory last week. So now I think that Cell is going to destroy the androids and absorb them, and then okay. the gang's going to have to fight this uh, final form. I Cell. see. Okay, okay. Um, and so Cell's running. He's trying to find a city, trying to find the androids, and he stops in front of a bus, and the bus driver is an idiot because he's just like, get out of the way, you absurd eight giant tall. alien creature <laughs> hey get out of the way i'm driving here and so he 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 sucky suckies on the, the dude and then some football players come out and they say oh what's up p show why are you holding us up from more games bucko which is a bad line why why are you holding us up from more games it's i weird think that line. was like a, a making fun of like american football team which go for it i love that mm -hmm. um i don't care so he sucks all the football players off, or sucks them in. <laughs> no, I and, think you were right the first time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so now he's presumably getting stronger. And uh, meanwhile, Vegeta catches back up with Piccolo and everybody, and he's like, oh, my God, Piccolo is so strong. So Piccolo is stronger than Vegeta. Yeah, except Vegeta's calling him the Namek, so Vegeta knows. Well, he, I don't confused. know that he's ever called him Piccolo. Piccolo. Okay, I think fair. he's always referred to him by his race because he's like kind of racist. Yeah. Um, so he he's he recognizes that Piccolo is much stronger than him, well stronger than him, and he's like getting all in his feels. He's like, dang it! Every time I'm the strongest, something else got to come along and beat me, and I'm sick and tired of this crap. She she acts like we're the sorry people. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of it. It's King Curtis, King, King Curtis, Curtis. If you're watching, I follow him on Instagram. For, <laughs> yeah. He, how old is he now? Like, uh, probably twenty. King Curtis is the baking king from um, Wife Swap. Wife Swap. And I follow him on Instagram. <laughs> he likes hunting. I've Does I'm he so like tempted. hunting pigs for bacon? No, he hunts like deer and stuff. And I'm so tempted to DM him and be like, dude, you don't even know how much of a part of my life you are. <laughs> Me and my fiance watch, you, watch this video like at least once a month. Maybe more. Anyway. Um... 
So yeah, you know, um, Vegeta is a sorry people, and he can't. Everybody's stronger than him every time he gets strong, and he doesn't like that. So he's like, okay, whatever, screw it. I'm just gonna go get stronger. And then we cut back to Cell, and Cell is running towards Nikki City. Nikki. Yes. And he's overlooking the city, and he's like, oh my god, I'm about to munch. Munch. Um, and that's the last we see of Cell. Yeah. So this, is this where Cell, or where we get a little speech from Vegeta? No, that's the next episode. Okay, I have a funny enough. note about that. And uh, that's actually the end of the episode as far as... Yeah, it ends with Piccolo explaining going. to everyone, like, yeah, this the situation. It's the usual. I'm just catching everybody. He starts to catch everybody up, and then we get the rest of the catch-up in the next episode. Mm-hmm. And that's the end of the episode. I gave this episode a three. I gave it a five. Really? But I understand the three. I'm just um, I'm just getting a little, like, uh, bored. Like, these three episodes especially, I feel like we're just getting to the same scenario and then the goose chase yeah like they just show up they're standing across from each other they talk then they leave and then we're gonna go do it again and another time and then the androids i was really excited about the android arc and i like what they're doing and now they're just the most boring part of these episodes which i don't even know if they showed up in this episode but they're just driving i think they did briefly yeah um but yeah i mean it's not awful, but I'm definitely getting a little... Uh, I'm just getting ready for something. I just want something else to happen. No, yeah. It's definitely like a boring pacing right now. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's goose chase. We're, we're setting up. We got the basement stuff that we need to take care of. We got uh, Goku finally waking up. And I will tell you that it's over. What is over? Like the uh, the boringness. Okay, that's good. As far as I remember, anyway. I, I say that often, and then I end up being wrong, so... <laughs> Episode 145, Laboratory, <clears throat> La- Basement. Laboratory. <laughs> Dexter's Laboratory. Vegeta Didi. said, let it happen, baby. Yeah. He um, said, let him get perfect. Yeah, Vegeta, so this is, I wrote down. He's, he's cocky Vegeta's back. Vegeta says he doesn't care how powerful a cell is minutes after sweating over power levels with Piccolo. Minutes? He's pissed. Hours after getting decimated. Yeah, that too. By Android 18. He's like, yeah, let Cell absorb the androids that kicked my ass because I'll still beat Cell. Assumedly multiply everyone's power. Yeah. And then fight them. And he's like, like a real warrior, instead of getting scared, I'll rise to the challenge, blah, 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 blah. And it's like... You just tried to rise to the challenge. Yeah, he gets like, all. If if not for the fact that they chose not to kill you, you dead. would be dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vegeta's um a little dummy. So he is talking about how he's going to defeat Cell, even though a couple minutes ago he was like all sad that Piccolo's stronger than him. Do you think that he, given the situation nah. right in front of him, nah. would he actually allow Cell to become perfect if it was his decision? Oh yeah. Do you yeah. really think he would? Yeah, he's dumb. He even said, he's like, I want to fight. One fight's easier than four people. It's like, you're an idiot. Not if... Not if that one person's stronger than the four of them combined. Right. (laughs) Um, And then we are back to another scene of um, Piccolo catching the rest of the gang up to everything going on. And it's just kind of explaining, I guess, for audiences. This makes a lot more sense if you're watching weekly as opposed to watching back-to-back. Because it's very much like a summary recap for people that might have forgotten everything going on. Yes. And then um, we cut to Gohan, and Gohan is a waterbender now. Um, Mm -hmm. He is just outside punching air so hard that it's making waves. Mm -hmm. And then Chi-Chi's about to come out. So Gohan's like, boom, capsule for my study desk. Mm -hmm. Boom, let me sit down. And Chi-Chi's got another snack for him. And what is that snack, That snack is juice. (laughs) I would freaking kill (laughs) my own mother if she dared. If I was studying... And if she dared to walk into my room or onto the beach, Your beach and be room. like, "Oh, appearance by Bonnie," <laughs> okay, and be like, "Here, I got you a snack," and I'd be like, "Oh, sweet, is it some cheese and cracker?" Oh, <laughs> Go- uh, Bonnie just killed Gohan. Uh, is it some cheese and crackers, or perhaps, um, perhaps it's some salami some grapes? or grapes? I love salami. No, it's juice. Juice. I would kill. I would With kill, like two ice cubes. I would destroy them. And probably a paper straw. It looked like, which you know. It's no good. Look, I get like the paper straw thing, but no, like no, no, just no. I would rather drink from the rim. Yeah, we I would just... rather give it a rim job because the I don't like soggy, yeah. soggy in my mouth. Paper straws are not doing much. We could just be making corporations that are dumping oil into the ocean do better. But no. you know. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what do you mean by this? <laughs> um, the straws are the future. We get the juice snack. We get the uh, so Trunks and Krillin decide to find the basement. 
<laughs> that cell is being created in. Yeah. Meanwhile, Vegeta flies off because he's grumpy and he wants to surpass. So now he has just achieved Super Saiyan. And he's saying he's I'm going beyond. Now he says that he's going to surpass Super Saiyan. Super which, Super Saiyan. He wants to become a Super Saiyan. Super Wii. Super Saiyan. We. Super. Yeah. After like the, the Nintendo. Yeah. Well, no. What came out? No, he wants to become a Super Saiyan 64. Because that's what comes after the Super Nintendo. Super. Oh, okay. Saiyan. So he's the he's the NES. Yeah. Now he's the Super NES. And now he wants to become the 64. He's beginning to the 64. He wants to find his old wahoo. Um. Yep. So they find the basement, Krillin and Trunks. Uh, they find that they they go down in there. They find paperwork that is the plans mm-hmm. for Android 17. And they're like, we can find a weakness through this. This is excellent. And then immediately they're like, let's blow this bitch down. Yeah, and they they do kill an infant. Yeah, they kill the larva, which I have to cross out one of my say. theories. I said, I said they, well, okay, so I first said they should eat it, and they didn't do that. And then I said, theory, Cell gets defeated, then comes back and eats the lava and grows even stronger. But they disintegrated the larvae. Yeah, larva. it, was very, it was very explicit in showing it. Yeah, so that definitely, is that theory is wrong. Um, I thought it was going to be one of those, like, well, it hasn't committed the sins yet, so maybe we shouldn't kill it. Oh, the old uh, Winter Soldier problem. Yeah, yeah, but it was like, nah, let's just, let's yeah, just vaporize that, that bit. Yeah, you already know. It's, I mean, in every other timeline, he turns into Cell. Yeah. Um, you squish it. Eat it. That's what I would do. I'd just eat it. Yeah, we cut to Nikki Town. We get, uh, you know, same old, same old. All the clothes, all the all the draining of the powers, and then... Um, Piccolo and Tien show up, and they're too little, too late. They don't they even show know up to the right football to people. Yes, and then they're like, "Oh my god, what happened here?" And then they're like, "Crap!" And then Tien's in the air, and Piccolo's in the air, and they're like, "Do you sense anything?" Or is that the next episode? No, I think that's this one. Yeah. So, um, Cell is sucking, and Tien's like, "Oh my god, I can hear the cries of pain. It's nearby. Let's fly there." And so they do, but they don't get to West. They don't get to um, the city until the next episode. Mm-hmm. And um, we cut to Bulma. So so Trunks decides he's going to go train with his father. Which is, yeah. I mean, Krillin was like, dude, your father's not. Does it? Your Krillin father straight likes up. to be an individual. Right. He wanted to say your dad doesn't love you. <laughs> not to mention Vegeta doesn't even, still somehow doesn't recognize that Trunks is his son. He recognized, well, he didn't verbally recognize it. I thought he doesn't know. Because remember, last time we even heard him acknowledge it, he was like, Trunks? He was like, Trunks, that's my son. That's my son's name. Yeah. Yeah, so he knows. I mean. Oh, I thought. And I, Trunks called him father this episode. Last episode. I think you're giving Vegeta too much credit. I think Vegeta's a little. He does have a thick skull. A little and dummy. A big forehead. I think he was like, what? There's a second person named Trunks on Earth? Dang. What? He looks like my son? Wow. What? Purple he called hair? me father? What? That's what my son calls me. No, oh my God. It's if Jason. He wasn't Bourne. a baby. Um, and we cut to Bulma. Uh, cause Krillin brings her the plans and we learn that they're actually, the androids aren't robot, ro- <laughs> robots, robots, <laughs> I was going to say robotic, but they're, they're actually organic or made of organic material, non GMO, vegan, gluten free flesh. Yes. And so that is how cell another organic creature would be able to absorb them and merge with them on a cellular level Yeah. because they're not metal. They're like, Which we kind they're of like knew. enhanced on a cellular yeah. level. We already knew they weren't metal. Yeah. I mean, they look like humans. Yeah. Um, and then that's where the episode ends. Yep. I gave this one another three out of seven. I gave it a four out of seven. This one was a little slow boy. Yeah, they're just um, they're just a little, little dragon. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they call it Dragon Ball. Dra- <laughs> We're just going to put our main character on a bed and then drag along the plot until he can show up. Episode 146, our but hero he's the, awaits. he's the third strongest, I would say, right now. Because we know Vegeta's yeah. stronger than he's him. He's probably weaker because he's got a train. And like we know Piccolo is stronger than him. And he's that. bedridden. He needs physical therapy. Yeah, uh, atrophy is a real thing. Yeah. Our hero awakes. Not awakens. So we've got a cop and a, and a he's shooting. He's just shooting down a hallway where people are running. He's not He's not a cop. He's just a dude. Oh, well, he's a, he looked like he a was like airport. In like a tank he had like cop. a uniform. Nah. Yeah, he did. He was wearing a uniform and it had a P right here for police. He was in the airport. He's like security. Airport? Yeah. That's where they're at. My, Basil Airport. It was Basil. Basil Airport. Did he have a pee? I thought he was just like a dude, no, he's like a, a gangster dude. He's in like dude. a button-up shirt. And he's okay, got okay, okay. Let, let it be. He's shooting down the hallway. People you win. Are you win. You always win. Fine. <laughs> he's shooting down the hallway. People are running. You're like, oh my God. Um, Cell must be down there. Nope. Turns out this dude's just shooting down the hallway. Yes. Because Cell hasn't even arrived yet. 
Um, we get to a newscast and the, the news dude's like, oh my God, the city has just suddenly vanished. What's going on? And then Cell pops down and attacks the man with the machine gun. Which this is when I first realized how, I, like Piccolo is like seven feet tall, right? So yeah. them fighting each other looked normal. But Cell standing next to this dude made him mm. look like he's, big. He's like eight and a half feet he's tall. He's like big, sure. big, yeah. Big, big, Yoshi. Big boy. Um, so he immediately takes them out and you're like, okay. And that's when I realized he was shooting down the hallway at nothing. That was a brutal kill on that guy. Yeah, it was. But then there's a, uh, I, this was all, all felt like, um, like the girl and her sister, little sister hiding under the desk felt like Jurassic Park. Yeah. And then like he slowly walks to him and I thought they were going to, I thought he was going to pick up the desk and like reveal them, but. And then, well, well, they start running. Yeah. Does it cut? Or yeah, it does cut to them running. yeah. Yeah. So they're running. He's like walking after them. That felt like Alien or like Terminator or something. And um, they jump out and they're all stuck on, they're like running and they trip. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Krillin saves them. And then phew, Krillin saves them. Which, yep. and I actually really liked this sequence, the plane sequence with Cell and Krillin. Yeah, well, don't jump the gun yet because we got to get, so, so Krillin drops them off oh, the ground yeah, yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. like, thank you so much for saving us. And Krillin's like, no problem. <laughs> Blushes a little bit. <laughs> And what do you think is what do you think his PP felt like? <laughs> Probably was like an electric lightning bolt struck the tip of his PP. There you go, the stepbrother reference. In but this, pool. but but not really because in Step Brothers is not what they say at all. They say, "I feel like a lightning bolt just struck the tip of my penis." Okay, well, but, close so enough. I was I was I was in the range. <laughs> it's been a while since you probably watched that movie. Yes, it has. I think I watched it last after prom. So quite so a 2016. While. Yeah, I haven't seen it probably since before that to be honest um and i own so, it on blu-ray oh yeah i do blu-ray. i do so krillin um is happy and he puts the he goes and he tells the, the sister and the daughter or whatever the sisters to go to the plane and then take it away your sequence that you like yeah um so yeah they go get on the plane i guess she can fly planes and they start the plane up meanwhile Krillin is ready to fight Cell. He's like, man, how did I get into this? I was just trying to get a shortcut to Kamiya. He's like, House. what are the odds I run into this dude on the way to Kamiya? Um, and we get very short, like brief. He's dodging the tail, and he's like, crap, if that thing hits me, I'm literally like insta dead. Yeah. He said he's going to turn me inside out and hang me out to dry, which is graphic. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my God. It's like a Viking death. Bonnie is Bonnie's stuck under, under the, the sheet. sheet. Anyways, <laughs> um, and so he's dodging, he's dodging. He does a solar flare on Cell. And so Cell is temporarily blinded, but I guess not as long as the others because he grabs onto the plane as it flies over and uh, Krillin's just hanging by the plane. He's like, nice, we made it. But then he looks down and he's like, Cell's not there. So then Cell's on top of the plane, sh- like spikes his tail through the plane. And then Krillin's like, holy crap. So he lets go, he like falls down, but then he starts flying. He s- flies all the way around the plane and then headbutts Cell really hard which I thought looked really cool. And then they're on the wing, and they're fighting on the wing, and Cell kicks Krillin, um, who goes through the plane, and his head gets stuck through the other side, breaking, like, the metal. And then Cell goes to the other wing and is walking up to Krillin and is about to drain him uh, when... Mm. Yes. When um, Piccolo and Tien show up. Yes. Or are showing up, and so Cell's le- Cell leaves, and then Tien and Piccolo are once again like, crap, we missed him. And then it turns out that Cell's like just in the airport hiding in the tower, like by them hiding, but they have no way of knowing. The Basel that. airport hiding. Yes. Uh, so I, I thought that sequence was good. Yeah, I like the sequence. It was cool. And then uh, we get a Trunks monologue. Yeah. So Trunks is basically like, "What the hell is going on? Why is everything so wrong here? I'm, I don't get it." And Trunks is, and Trunks can sense that Cell's aware that things are different here too. Mm-hmm. And Trunks is like, what is, something different must have happened. And he's replaying all the old, it was a bunch of flashbacks. And basically Trunks is not realizing that he, the big thing that he changed was giving Goku the medicine to survive. That is definitely like. He's like, what one thing could have changed? And it's like. You, and killing Frieza. Well, he did that before. I think just this time he did it like in a surprise way. Because he's like, I killed him and I killed him in a very surprising way this time or something like that. Hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I got the element of surprise, but I think the one big thing that's changed is Goku's alive, um, and and so my thing is is like if Goku's alive, then Android sixteen gets built, 
That's why he's not aware of 16 on his original timelines because Goku's dead. So Dr. Jiro doesn't need 16. That makes a lot of sense. He needs 16 to kill Goku. So he creates this android that's going to just focus on killing Goku. That's why we have Android 16. Um, yeah. That's the one thing he's hung 17 up on. 17 and 18 also want to kill Goku. But what we also know is that Cell can't be complete without 17 and 18, which would show why they would still exist. Yeah. Um, and that's basically what happens. I put that maybe a budget could happen this episode because it's like a, a lot of flashbacks and kind of like art just popping on the screen, which I actually really like mm-hmm. when they just show like a really sick piece of art and talk over it. Um, right, it's better than just showing trunks flying like the same which repeated. They, they did do that a few times. Yes. Um, and then we cut to the androids and they're just driving more because like you know why fly? And it's then not fun. 18's like, let me cut this forest. It's gonna be sick. No, 17's like, let me cut this forest. It's going to be sick. And 18's like, this is so annoying, dude. I'm just going to blast this forest down and level it. And now he's like, I was going to have fun. My off-road derby, man. And she's like, well, now you can go forward. Ma, ma, ma. We can get to Goku faster. <laughs> 16 gives a disapproving look. Yeah, he doesn't like when you take down nature. He <laughs> likes his butterflies and his birds and his flowers. I like the birds. Birds make me firm. Chi-Chi drops a buck. <laughs> <laughs> Chichi drops a bucket on Master Roshi's head. Yes. And then they go check on Goku, who is not there. He's been kidnapped by the androids. Psych, he's out front just practicing some water bending in the form of Kamehameha's. Did you think he would be awake already? Um, no. It was very sudden. And How many episodes has he been out of commission? Quite a while. It's been about, oh, wow. Yeah, quite a while. 10 to 15 episodes. Oh, more than Dang. that. So he's finally awake, and they're like, oh, my gosh, it's time. You got to yeah. go save the day. And Goku's like, well, I got to train because I'm not feeling as good. And Chi-Chi's like, it's okay. You don't need to go fight. You can just – you need to rest some more. And, and that is – that's the end of the episode. No, well, more importantly, extremely importantly. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. he wants to train some more because he, he – well, first off, he knows everything that's going on because yeah. he heard people talking in his dreams and stuff. Whatever. That's, that's just so they don't have to explain it again. Mm-hmm. What he also knows is eh, that Vegeta is feeling the same way, that they have a level to achieve beyond Super Saiyan. The Wahoo. The uh, Nintendo 64 mm-hmm. level. So, yeah, so he's um, he feels it in his gut just like Vegeta does, and he says he's going to claim it. And so he sprints off. So he says he's going to go train. Hmm, what could it be? What'd you rate it? Another three out of seven. I actually gave all these episodes three out of seven because I was very bored the entire time, pretty much. I gave this one a five because I liked it. I'm just getting tired of like watching our heroes stand off in front of Cell and then not do nothing. And then like the goose chase we talked about. I'm glad Goku's out of bed, um, but I guess he's just going to go train now and then come back and fight. And I want some variation. And I'm tired of the androids just driving. I really liked the androids and I liked where they were going. And now... They're the p- most boring part of these episodes, and that makes me sad. All right, well, we're distracted by a cat, but she's going in the walls like she always used to. Oh, okay. I thought she was scratching the TV in there. I was like, oh, no. Nah, if anything, she's scratching that uh, wood. Tight. What will... Okay, so now now what is the next three episodes? Um, Honestly, I have no idea. Probably just boring if we're if it's anything like these past episodes i've not had a good time in a minute actually i gave um 143 six out of seven but that's because we got a lot, a lot of information but like 143 was good literally this. like 137 136 three out of seven 137 three out of seven 138 two out of seven 139 three out of seven 143 out of seven this arc started so strong for me and it is tanked it's currently probably my least favorite arc out of At all the them. moment. Actually, I don't know. The freeze arc is definitely pretty good. I think you're... Sometimes. Yeah, I think the beginning of the freeze arc is a lot slower. Yeah, I agree. Sorry about that. But what will happen next? Will Wesley be bored, or yeah. will he be pleasantly surprised? I hope. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Speed. Yeah.